Hunting isn't simply about where you're going, it's also about how you get there. The same is true for gun making. At Rigby, we don't like to rush things. Tradition, heritage and craftsmanship are just as important to us as technology. The Highland Stalker is the result of three years of exacting research and development. It epitomises the spirit of sporting adventure that has been synonymous with Rigby since our foundation more than two centuries ago. Its launch needed to be equally intrepid, something that would represent a unique adventure even for the most experienced of modern hunters. There was only one answer, a stalking party of true Victorian splendour in the heart of the Highlands. The sleeper train was the obvious way to travel. Nothing compares to climbing into your carriage amid the city noise and waking the next morning at first light as the train rolls into the calm of the Scottish station. This is where and how so many gentlemen and women began their search for adventure in the past. It seemed only fitting that it should be the place where the modern hunting world would meet the new Highland Stalker rifle. This is very much a reimagining, if you like, of the, the kind of rifles that people were using in the pre-war years. Um, and when, when we go out and stalk on the hill like this, um, in the same place, in the same manner, in the traditional way, uh, the rifles still fit the purpose. And they, they, they carry something which a modern rifle doesn't have to me. Uh, I want to see a rifle like this, which you could quite comfortably buy for yourself or for your son at the age of 21. You can still be shooting deer on the hill with it at the age of 70. The rifle will mellow with age. Um, the, the traditional finishes, uh, they, they get better with age. They don't scratch in the way that modern materials and synthetic stock finishes do. They'll, they'll weather with the gun and carry the scars of, the, of, of usage and Hopefully, you know, rifles like this in 70 years' time will be evoking the kind of images and the kind of feel that people will still want then, as they wanted 100 years ago, and as I think Rigby customers today want now. I mean, normally when it's clear, you know, you can see a big area here and, you know, you can see deer. But today we just have to kind of go to where we think they might be and hope it clears again. You know, I feel sad a lot of times. As an American hunter, we have great hunting opportunities, but we don't have tradition. And when you come to Scotland, and you see it firsthand. I mean, this tradition lives from generation to generation. There's something magical about seeing how these guys still hunt. I mean, it's using ponies to get the stags off the hill. It is the dress, you know, it's a dress code. The stalkers here are wearing tweeds of the area. And when you bring a rifle into that, that is not a modern contrivance, really. It is a wood and blued and beautiful rifle that's still handcrafted, just like it was 100 years ago it makes it a very special moment. You know, to be able to experience that and put it all together really gives you appreciation for hunting and, and what we have as hunters. It's that passing on of a legacy that I'm afraid often it gets overlooked in our modern world, in our high-tech digital world. It's very unique to be able to take a piece of history like this rifle back to a place like Scotland that hasn't changed in hundreds of years and experience that firsthand. It's a big area to find yeah. Like, yeah. So those are the right ones. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the big stands. Mm -hmm. This area is very difficult because of the wind. You know, if we, if we go too far that way, they'll see us. Yeah. If we go too far that way, they'll smell us. Yeah. So you, you just have to go around, and sometimes they, you know, they just move, move around, like you know. But the good thing is that they will always go in the in the right yeah. direction. Yeah. Now, so. But they can come down here in the minute. 
Uh, that's where yeah, so we've got to just slowly go down. But the, the more with with the wind, they're going to go, you know, go that way. Like. Yeah. It was a great, great adventure today, yeah? Going uphill hours and hours, and then uh, we took it down with a pony. It's, it's a part of, of feeling real nature. It's a very emotional thing having, having just uh, uh, shot a, a great animal like that. And uh, I always need like five or 10 seconds to just, just to be in the moment and just lie there and look at the sky and uh, the best, the best possible uh, experience that I could imagine having here in, in these hills. I mean, if you look around here, it's uh, it's the same hills that people have been hunting for for centuries, and they've looked like this for for centuries. So uh, it's uh, I'm I'm humbled, I'm humbled and, and honored to be here today, and and to be able to uh, to take a stack stack myself in these hills. For me, it was always on my wish list, my, hunt, my hunting wish list to get a stag, um, come down with the Garen ponies. And um, so today, actually, I'm, I've made it and I was I'm really happy even to get the pony down to the lodge and to join yeah, the other people and to, to show the success of the hunting today. Actually, I've got a very old rifle, Rigby rifle, which is 85 years old. And I shot my first Highland st uh, stag with this rifle and for me now to see this rifle and to hold this rifle in my hand and to shoot another stack with a Highland Stalker rifle it was really an honor for me. The whole feel to the rifle, the whole look of the rifle um, and everything it encompasses a lot of tradition. It fits in with, with the Highlands and with the whole with the whole hunting experience here um, and bringing the, the stag down with the Garan ponies everything's just so romantic and traditional. I think it just adds to the whole experience. It has been a real privilege um, to, to take this rifle on the hill today. Taking the initial idea of the Highland Stalker and turning it into a functional, beautiful stalking rifle wasn't something that could be achieved overnight. As anyone who loves stalking knows, however, waiting has its rewards and we're extremely proud of the result an affordable, aspirational rifle that's both fit for purpose and built in the best Rigby tradition. Seeing the faces of guests returning from the hill and listening to their stories over dinner, I'm confident that the Highland Stalker is already doing exactly what it was designed to do, creating the best kind of hunting memories, the kind that will last a lifetime.